So hello and welcome to this review of Arsenal and Everton. We will also touch on West Ham versus Chelsea. But Arsenal have got their fourth win in a row. So after a difficult first opening two games for Unai Emery against Manchester City and Chelsea, they've really, really stepped up their game since. This game was a really, really, really tough fixture and they came out with a clean sheet for the first time this season and a win, which was really, really important. But let's get through uh, into the first half. Arsenal, I think they struggled in the first half. Everton, they had the better chances for me in the first half. Um, they had chances through Calvert-Lewin, through Richarlison, and also through a former gunner, Theo Walcott. All of them had you know, decent chances to uh, make a... An, an impact, but unfortunately, those chances were uh, saved by Peter Cech, who had a very, very, very good game um, in the first half, in particular. So the so it went in at nil nil at the break, and in all fairness, I think um, that was a little bit harsh on Everton. Arsenal they really, really struggled. Uh, Socrates came off in the first half um, and was replaced by Rob Holding. Despite Arsenal having 67% of the possession, they just had one shot in on target in the first half compared to the four of Everton. And they were very, very lucky to still be at nil-nil. Second half, it was a similar situation. Um, the first 10 minutes, Everton were pushing for their goal. Their fans really believed. But what is one of the best strikes so far this, um, this season in the Premier League... Uh, Alexandra Lacazette cut in after a pass from Aaron Ramsey and hammered the ball into the top corner. Unstoppable finish by Lacazette. And that's his second goal of the season. Really, really impress impressive finish by the Frenchman. And then a bit of controversy. Three minutes later, Aubameyang scored after Everton were left three on one and they had absolutely no chance. And Aubameyang scored... The goal was a couple of yards offside, but that was not given. And then that really, really quashed the game. Um, they did try and make changes. They brought on Bernard, they brought on Tosin, but it was comfortable in the end for Arsenal. They didn't really pose many, many uh, problems after those two goals. That really killed it, but a really, really good win. Everton, they were much improved from last week with, after that 3-1 uh, defeat to West Ham. Um, but these four wins in a row, and um, that's their fifth win in a row in all competitions, um, have really, really just set the tone for Arsenal. They're looking, they're looking okay. Um, but what is really impressive is the relationship forming between Aubameyang and Lacazette. That could be something that really helps them finish, maybe even in the top four. Personally, I'm not sure if that will be achievable this time. But even to finish fifth would be an achievement. Anything is better uh, than last season. They need to improve. And so far, I think they've done all right. I think they've done all right. Um, they've done what it was expected. Today was a tough test and they came out um, on top. This leaves them in sixth place. Um, so they've gone ahead of Manchester United. They're on 12 points, which is the same as Tottenham, who are in fifth. Um, so the next game is a Watford at home and a win in that one could see them go into the top four for the first time this season. That would be a very, very, very good thing for Unai Emery to do. After a really difficult start, he's really sorting everything out at Arsenal. There's still problems and there will still always be problems uh, at at the back and things like that. But Torreira came in and he was really impressive in the middle going about his business very well, which meant that Xhaka didn't have a bad game at all. It wasn't, a, you know, he didn't pull up any trees, but he, he went about his business fairly well, which allowed him a lot more freedom with Torreira uh, in the side. Everton, they're in 12, six points, just one win so far this season against Southampton, and then he they have had draws against Bournemouth, against Huddersfield, and against Wolves on the opening day but have now lost their last two games against Arsenal and against West Ham. Five goals conceded in those two games, which is very, very disappointing for Marco Silva's side. They do have several players missing, and you know that 
that doesn't help the likes of Gomez, Seamus Coleman, Phil Jagielka, uh, James McCarthy, who of course is still out after that horrible, horrible um, injury uh, after he had his like leg kicked accidentally by Solomon Rondon. Really, really nasty. And Yerry Mina. Um, so two signings that they made in the summer, Gomez and Yerry Mina, are still yet to make their debuts. It'd be interesting to see if they can, you know, maybe get off the off the pitch against um, whoever they're playing in the in the cup. Um, but we shall see. Um, but yeah, really, really, really decent performance by Arsenal. They they huffed and they puffed and they struggled at times. They struggled at times, but a 2-0 win over Everton. Um, really, really decent win. And I I, I thought the, the first goal would really um, show who was going to win it. And it came to Arsenal. If it had come to Everton, I think they'd have gone out and won the game. Um, but it didn't, and it came from Arsenal. And that's what Lacazette provides, a quality finish. And that allowed a easy 2-0 win in the end. West Ham and Chelsea now uh, a 0-0 this finished. Um, pretty boring game, actually. There wasn't too many chances. Chelsea, they bossed possession like they always do. Had the most shots, had the most shots on target. Um, but West Ham, they had chances to win it. They had chances to win it. Yarmolenko with a header right at the end. Probably should have scored... Uh, Chelsea has some good chances as well. I was really impressed with Fabianski, who made several good saves as well. Um, but I, overall, I think it's a very, very good point for West Ham. Um, they could start climbing up the league, but they have Manchester United at home next weekend. Um, it'll be interesting to see how they cope with that. But after a really difficult start with the four defeats in a row, they are now in beating on their last two. Four points from the from those six get, uh, points, which I think is really, really good return. Uh, and anything they get against Manchester United would be very, very good indeed. Chelsea, they are currently in third behind Manchester City, who are on the same points, and Liverpool, who they play next week. So really, really interesting set of fixtures next week. One that I am really looking forward to is next weekend's set of fixtures. But thanks so much for everyone tuning in. I uh, hope this video was okay. It was pretty, pretty short. I uh, just wanted to get an instant match reaction out. But thanks so much for tuning in anyway. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you are new. My name is Mike and I will see you soon.